Joint hypermobility is when some of your joints can bend and move further than what it normally can, for example in your fingers, elbows and knees. You might have heard of this as being double jointed or having joint hyperlaxity. Having bendy and odd looking joints can sometimes be useful for some people, like dancers, athletes or musicians. And having hypermobile joints doesn't mean that something is wrong. It's not uncommon to have hypermobile joints and you can go through life without any problems. But for some, this can be responsible for many issues including body aches, pain and stiffness. This is then called joint hypermobility syndrome, also known as benign joint hypermobility syndrome. So to recap, joint hypermobility plus no symptoms equals okay. Joint hypermobility plus symptoms equals joint hypermobility syndrome. Children, adults and the elderly can get joint hypermobility syndrome, but it seems more common in younger females and in African or Asian populations. Genetics can play a role too. It can also be developed due to the intensive training of the body, for example in some athletes. Having joint hypermobility syndrome can lead to difficulties in everyday tasks, risks of further injury and limitations of certain activities and participation. Common symptoms include joint stiffness, fatigue and pain in muscles and or joints. How do you figure out if you're hypermobile? Your GP or physiotherapist can examine you and ask questions to determine whether or not you have joint hypermobility and consequently the syndrome. There are some tests that can show how flexible you are and compare you to commonly used scoring systems. Finding out about your symptom history, aggravating factors, day-to-day -day activities and how you move can give insight into a correct diagnosis. So if this is sounding like you or someone you know, what can you do about it? Well it depends on a few things. Management will be different for everyone and may depend on whether it's a child, adolescent, adult or the elderly. It also depends on the severity of your symptoms, or maybe you don't have any symptoms but would like ways to prevent future symptoms. In general, for the hypermobile person, resting in end range of movement positions should be avoided. This means no sitting with your legs intertwined, sitting on the ground in a W shape or your legs tucked under your bottom and standing with most of your weight on one leg. It is best to keep active within a normal range of movement for you and improve your general fitness. Physiotherapy can help manage your symptoms, progress individualized exercises and also monitor outcomes. You may be referred to other health disciplines and specialists for further management depending on your personal situation and goals. There are other treatment options that can be considered but should be done so with your health professional. Contact your GP or physiotherapist for further information or find out more about joint hypermobility in the description box below.